Today, we'll review how to navigate Pilram Smart Care Remote Management. Smart Care Remote Management is a cloud-based solution that offers a centralized view and remote access to take control of the health and well-being of your connected devices by proactively managing them from a single remote location. Smart Care Remote Management can be used to track maintenance and service activity on the following assets. Connects Vital Signs Monitor, Connects Integrated Wall System, Connects Spot Monitor, RetinaView 700 Imager, and Smart Beds. This online tool will help you maximize system uptime, protect your investment, and help everyone in your healthcare system focus on what's most important, providing quality patient care. Okay, let's get started. First, log in at smartcareremotemanagement.hillrom.com. Upon login, you will see the main navigation area. Use the Assets tab to access detailed information about a specific asset. Use filters or a search query to refine the asset list presented on screen. Click anywhere in a specific assets row to open its details screen. Scroll through the Asset Details screen to find the specific information you need. The available tabs vary based on which asset is selected. Possible tabs include Preventative Maintenance, Component Information, Error Codes, and Logs. Some assets provide preventative maintenance schedules. For CSM and CVSM, the data is automatically pulled from the device. For Smart Beds, the data is entered manually into remote management and a recent maintenance history is provided for each bed. If logs are applicable for your asset, open the Request Logs window by clicking Request Logs, select the type of the log you want to download and the dates, then click Download. This file can be emailed to our technical support team to assist you with troubleshooting. Remote management enables you to upgrade firmware on one or more assets when Hillrom releases new firmware. Let's begin with the RetinaView 700 Imager. Select Updates on the left-hand navigation, then RetinaView 700 from the Asset Type dropdown, and Upgrade from the Update Type dropdown. Select the most recent software version to deploy to your imagers and press Next. On this screen, you will see all of the assets that have been wirelessly registered to your RetinaView company. If any previously registered imagers do not appear on this screen, they can be manually synced with a server, also known as Call Home. By pressing Settings, Advanced Settings, Service Connection, Sync Now on the imager, allow up to 15 minutes for this asset to appear in Remote Management. From left to right, you will see the firmware version, serial number, location, and last firmware version deployed. On the left side of the screen, under Destinations, you can filter the list of imagers by location. Note that you can also sort the column by clicking on the header. To view all imagers in your company in order of their current firmware version, simply click on the Firmware Version column. Once you've identified the imagers to receive firmware updates, select the checkbox and press Next. From the summary screen, press Confirm. The confirmation message will state the update process has been established, and the update will be pushed to the service server and be available the next time the imagers call home. As a best practice to ensure the update process is successful, confirm that each camera's date and time is correct. Also, set the sleep timer to never until the firmware version has been updated. The imagers automatically call home every seven days or they can be manually synced by the operator by pressing Sync Now on the imager. Once the imager calls home, it will pull down any available updates within five to 10 minutes, depending on the strength of the wireless connection of the imager. Once the update has been received, a message will appear on the imager notifying the operator that the new firmware is available for installation. If an imager operator is in the process of taking an exam, the pop-up message will not appear until after the exam has been completed. When the imager operator selects OK, the installation process will begin. If the operator selects Cancel, the message will reappear every 20 minutes until the operator selects OK. 
If nothing is selected for two minutes, the installation process will begin automatically. Once the installation process has begun, do not interrupt the update. It will typically take only a few minutes to complete. You can use the Report tab to check for firmware deployment status. From the drop-down menus at the top, select your facility, device type, and firmware status. Click on the download icon to download a CSV formatted report. Next, let's discuss smart beds. Select the updates option on the left side of the screen. Then select the desired asset from the asset type list and upgrade from the update type list. If any firmware upgrades are available, they will appear in the results table. Click on the desired firmware version and click next. The select asset screen will appear with a selected file displayed at the top and below it a list of assets in your facility eligible to receive the upgrade. Select one or more assets in the list and click Next. Click Confirm and deploy the firmware. Confirmation message will state the update process has been established. To complete the update, perform activities as prompted by the software. To check for firmware deployment status, go to the Report tab and from the drop-down menus at the top, select your facility, device type, and firmware status. Click on the download icon to download a CSV formatted report. Next, we'll take a look at deploying software and configuration updates for CSM and CVSM. When rolling out these types of changes, we recommend you take the following steps. Make sure the scheduled deployment time is during normal business hours when resources, including Hilram technical support, are most likely available. Work with your interface team and clinical partners to ensure the change has been communicated, user training is scheduled, and proper resources for the interface have been engaged if changes to the data charted to the EMR are part of the deployment. Before deploying to your production system, be sure to perform basic regression test cases to ensure the updates or upgrades work correctly in your sandbox environment. Verify asset network connectivity, device asset tag, and location fields are properly displayed on the assets. If applicable, one to three days before the planned deployment, change the asset call home frequency to 15 minutes and deployment mode to true using the portal. Before the planned deployment, coordinate with clinical staff to turn on assets during the planned update time to ensure maximum update coverage. To begin, click the Updates tab. Select the desired asset from the asset type list and upgrade from the update type list. If any firmware upgrades are available, they will appear in the results table. Click on the desired firmware name and click Next. The tab will refresh and present the selected file at the top of the screen and a list of CSM assets in your facility eligible to receive the upgrade. Select one or more assets in the list and click Next. The review action screen appears, listing the following items. Item to push, destinations, date or time of the push. Click the Immediately radio button to push the item to the asset immediately, or click the Schedule radio button to set the date and time when you would like to push the item to the asset. Click Confirm. A confirmation message will state, the update process has been established. Firmware upgrades may not activate immediately until your assets call home. For vital signs monitors, Make sure assets are connected to Partner Connect so files will upload. To check for the firmware deployment status, go to the Report tab and from the drop-down menus at the top, select your facility, device type, and firmware status. Click on the download icon to download a CSV formatted report. For the Connect Spot Monitor and Connect's Vital Signs Monitor, Remote Management enables you to deploy or push saved configuration files to one or more monitors in your facility. To complete a deployment, follow these steps. Click the Updates tab, then click the CVSM or CSM filter in the drop-down list. A list of saved configuration files will populate the table. CSM files utilize your naming conventions when created in the configuration tool at hillrom.com. Configuration files contain device, clinical, and network setting information, and any custom data and scoring to be used on the assets. CVSM follows a specific naming convention and tags on these files reveal their types. Configuration file names end with the tag config.pmp.settings. 
custom data file names and with the tag underscore custom data dot XML dot settings. Locate the configuration file you want to deploy. Click on the desired file name and click Next. The configuration tab will refresh and present the selected file at the top of the screen and a list of assets in your facility eligible to receive the file. Select one or more assets in the list and click Next. Click Confirm to deploy. A confirmation message will state the update process has been established. To confirm the configuration file has been pushed to the assets, Click the Assets tab and select each asset to which you push the configuration. Please note, deployed configuration or custom data files may not be active immediately on your assets. These files remain in a queue to be loaded on the selected assets when they call home. A connection to Partner Connect is required to load these files on the assets. For CSM only, after a configuration has been deployed, the progress will be displayed on the Reports page. To view the status of a configuration deployment, go to the Reports tab and from the drop-down menus at the top, select your Facility, Connect Spot Monitor, and CFG Update Status and click Get Report. Clicking Get Report also refreshes the list. Using Remote Management, you can access, download, and print detailed activity, usage, and firmware information on the Reports tab. To do this, click the Reports tab. At the top of the report screen, select the desired facility, asset type, and report type to filter your results. Click Get Report. The screen will refresh and display the selected report. SmartCare Remote Management reports when an asset communicates to an access point. Adding location data to the access point allows you to find an asset's approximate location. A manager user may add access point mapping information by uploading a CSV file with customized information or by adding the information directly in the SmartCare Remote Management Portal. The entered data will appear as a line item on the Asset Details screen under Locate Asset. It will also appear on the Reports page when you select Access Point Locations from the Report Type menu. Smart Beds present an option in the Asset Details screen that allows you to view information about your asset's error codes. When viewing the main navigation page, assets with active error codes display an orange triangle with an exclamation mark under Status. Follow these steps to view the error code information. From the Asset screen, use filters or a search query as desired to refine the asset list data presented on screen. Click anywhere in a specific assets row to open its asset details screen. Click the error codes tab and then the row that displays the error name. A window showing information about the error including possible solutions displays. Note: Clicking reference in either the asset details screen or in the error code window will open the service manual for more information. This completes our overview of Smart Care Remote Management, a better way to manage devices on your hospital network. For additional information on smart care remote management, please visit hillrom.com. <laughs>